trouble before any of that. Roll intro. <laughs> what are you lot doing out? Who let you out? Oh, I've obviously failed in my duties. Anyway, you need to, uh, you need to get out. Sun's out. It's gonna rain next week. Of course it is. Nearly summer. Straight into it again. Making the most of the sun. It's gonna rain next week. Of course it is. Anyway, good morning from the southwest of France. Department 16, the Chiront. <laughs> right, so, do some more mowing yesterday. Need to finish it off today, need to finish it off before the rain sets in. Um, kids are going back um, just after lunch. It was lovely having them over. Yeah, we all really enjoyed ourselves and the, uh, yeah, they brought the weather with them. So, uh, as for the rest of the day, Need to go to La Roche for Co. Um, tomorrow, I don't know what, don't know what we're doing. It's raining tomorrow, and uh, Monday, Colin's back doing some more of the shower. So, don't know what next is, but whatever it is, let's do that. Right, it's a little after two, so we can start making noise in the garden. So I've washed the bike, of course I have, I'm going to ride it. Um, yeah, Lisa's taking the kids back, not to the airport anyway, um, and I need to mow the lawn before the weather turns. So yeah, I've got to do that, I'm, I'm not filming. Shall I? No, I'm not filming. Shall I? <laughs> I'm not. So absolutely bugger all filming today. Uh, I've done stuff. Uh, did mow the rest of the lawn. I've been out on my bike uh, to go shopping. Rubbish. Um, so yeah. So say goodbye to the sun and uh, say hello to this. Look at it. It's a massive difference, isn't it? It's not. It's not cold uh, and it's not rained. 
At least it says it has. It's not. Um, I can tell by the roads. Is it going to rain though? It's going to rain this afternoon. If you can hear some like weird noise, it's coming from next door swimming pool. It's been invaded by frogs. <laughs> and they're noisy. Anyway, a proper lazy morning this morning. The chickens are already out. Lisa sorted them out. Arnie's out. I don't know, don't know how he gets out. Um, yeah, so just finished watching an episode of uh, Frontier Trumpet. Talk about the, the cost of living in France. That's really interesting. So pop over and see them. Uh, <laughs> link in the description. And um, yes, go see that. That's really interesting. And um, just finished watching French Countryside Life. Um, and that was another good one as well. Um, so go and take a look at that. Your Colin's got a couple of bonsai trees now, which is uh, which he's been entrusted to look after. And um, Colin's had his wood delivered already. It's May. Um, now yeah, this is something that that we're learning about timings. Yeah, so we got here September last year. Don't think we ordered our wood until October, November time. And it didn't arrive until late on November. It was soaking wet. It's like driftwood. Couldn't use it for months. So um, it's gauging the best time of year to get your wood delivered. Um, probably when it's not raining. So probably soon. So we'll probably get, I think we've got five, five steers. Stairs is how they pronounce it in French. Um, and I think this time we'll get a bag of kindling because we spent a fortune on kindling just from the shop. It's not worth it. Don't do that. Yeah, so there are a few jobs that I've got to, that I've got to do today. I'm not filming because it's proper boring. I've got to degrease the chain on my motorbike and then put some fresh stuff on there to keep it, to keep it lubed. Not a sentence I thought I'd say on a Sunday morning. And i um, got to go to the bottle bank. Mass a lot of jam jars again. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and then Colin's coming tomorrow, which is probably where the majority of this content's going to be. So uh, I'm having fun with the um, with the AI music generator. Just putting a few lyrics and it turns, in, turns it into a cracking song. I might do that. I might stick a song on this tomorrow. Anyway, whatever's next, let's do that. Who wants a veggie patch update? I know I do. Right, so these are the tomato plants. These are the cheeky tomatoes. Celeriac, which is coming up, isn't it? The spring onion, melon. Excited about that. Courgette, is that courgette too? Mm -hmm. Amazing. A anything in the air or is that just Avocado. not great? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Right. I'm particularly impressed by these willows, which are just off cuts from and Kathy and Martin's willow tree just shoved them in the ground. Didn't have to do anything with them. And they've done the same with the archway as well. There you go. Anyway. So this is more tomatoes, isn't it? Peppers. This is peppers. Bell peppers, that's right. They come up nice. And uh, the mustard. Mustard. Massive borage. And this is the Tomatoes, isn't it? Tomatoes. So what's this? Oh, your yeah. radish. radish. Beetroot. 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 That's it. Yeah, Same thing, isn't it? Yeah, oh, look. Grow nicely. And. Oh, and these are leeks. Le carrot. I think that'll be fine because it's going to have some more water, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Concentrate on whatever's underneath the plastic. So it's baby carrot and normal carrot, isn't it? Baby carrot, normal carrot. Under. What are these? Parsnips. Snips. Yeah. And garlic. Right, it's time for a garlic camp. Can you see the? Can you see the parsnip there? See it? Oh yeah. Garlic cam. Um, raspberries. Yeah. Oh, look. And the monge too. Yeah. Flowers on them. They're massive. Runner beans. English runner beans. English runner beans. Yeah. Nice. In this mess. Let us know. 
two. And the alien lettuce underneath? Oh, that's two in there, is it? Yeah. There's a little one over the back. Yeah. So these are the onions. Um, something has been digging in it, but not yesterday, which is good. No. Yeah, I might leave them today. Strawberries. Oh, look, there's a red one. Yeah. Lettuce that we've been eating from, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll grow some more. I mean, these ones are these lettuces here. Mm. So we're just waiting for those to come up. Potatoes. You can hear those frogs again, can't you? <laughs> yeah, so here's something interesting and annoying. <laughs> is um, so I've been watching um, Andy from AJ in France, the description um, about all the stuff on electricity, electricity bills, also French air trumpet as well, the description um, about um, so EDF, which means I think. Uh, Electricity de France. So uh, yeah, it's a it's a French company. Um, that's who we're with. It seems the, the majority of people are. Um, but the electricity is actually actually supplied by a company called Enedis. Now we've got twelve kVA. I think it is. I know enough about this. You're coming into the house, which uh, means I'm paying a lot. I don't think I'm using that. So. Um, Andy from AJ in France uh, advised that I register with Enedis. Um, you know, so I went through all the forms, um, then need to uh, prove identification. Um, do that through La Poste. So I went onto their app. It only accepts uh, a number of different ID documents, passport. It's got to be French. Um, your visa it's got to have at least five years on it now post Brexit you don't get five year visas um, and, there, and there was something else as well which didn't apply to me so I'm stuck I can't get any further in, uh, in registering with Enedis because it's Enedis that are going to be able to tell me how much wattage I'm actually using see whether I can reduce it to a nine or a six anyway yeah so if anybody's if anybody's out there that uh that knows the solution post Brexit, and that's here on a 12 month visitor's visa. He's then going to apply for a carte de séjour, which gives it another 12 months, um, another five years needed. A anyone got any ideas? Can you please drop me a comment below? Right, good morning. Just shorts and t shirt weather today. Not too hot, you don't need your sunscreen or your sun hat. Go on. Off your pop. And you. That's it. Good morning. Chickens are sulking. We got them the wrong food. We don't like pellets, we got them pellets. Probably pellets. Better for them, but they, yeah, they don't like it. So they're sulking. Uh, and they're not afraid to show you as well. Anyway, Colin's here this morning. But, uh, First, we've got to get the kids off to school. It's been a long five days with the bank holiday last week and the bridging days. And uh, yeah, so they're back at school getting their learn on. And uh, Colin and I could be cracking on with the shower. Exciting times. Right, let's do that. So we've got Colin, Fred Good Shower. Uh, what's the plan for today? Plan for today, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Um, we're going to get some plasterboard on these bits around the um, shower tray, yeah. up the wall on both sides. Um, and you can see that? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> you want me to point the stick now? Okay, I'll turn it around. Yeah. Point the stick Yeah. Uh, yeah, get the plasterboard on. Uh, while that's, because we're probably going to have to pack it at the bottom, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this corner here. So while that's drying, 
Uh, we'll get the shower put on. Yeah. And uh, we'll take from there. Visual progress. There you go. As Andy says. Yes, indeed. Nice. Okay. Happy is where we want it to be. It didn't come easy and it wasn't for free. We came to France to have more fun And we did it with the help of a place in the sun A huge farmhouse with lots to do To help us we've lots of friends, not just a few Join us on our journey here in the Chirante We visit lots of places but not yet of Bocante
video so far. It's not finished. Give us a thumbs up. Cost bugger all. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so that's uh, 17 inches and uh, 10 sixteenths. Brilliant. Right, so Colin's gone. Got loads of progress done today. Uh, showers in. Plasterboards in. Um, and tomorrow, apparently I need to be doing some tape and joint. <laughs> what could go wrong? And some more tiling. So, tidying up all the edges. Then it's time for the screen, I think. Anyway, so... Uh, I've done it all out of sync, so I don't really know what to say. But anyway, do us a favour, add us a comment. I love a comment, especially from somebody who hasn't come commented before. Leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. It's not from me. And it's not from me.